fucking scared. Like, am I gonna break it? Do we have it on video? <laughs> What is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have a feature video of mike's sti uh he just got it back built everything is pretty much done for it i'm sure he's got more future plans that he's going to talk about with us uh but for now let's go through this thing see what it's all about what's going on mike not much man how are you good so tell us a little bit about this thing what do you got going on in the exterior so this is my daily well daily that i turned and i ruined it and now it's uh hopefully gonna keep continuing on the track of a race car um, but basically we just did a whole bunch of carbon stuff we did hood fenders uh, lip did the carbon uh, brake ducts that we still have to actually duck to the brakes uh, but we'll get there um, everything carbon that I could get I tried to uh, with within reason of course uh, we got the APR mirrors uh, aeroflow side skirt extensions advantage ETs that were coated here at KK. Those are looking good man. Yeah. I'm glad we went with this color. Like it really cleaned things up and it's it's not too gold where it's like gaudy, you know what I mean? Yeah, we were definitely on the fence for a while about trying to figure out what color to do because they, they used to be satin black and uh, we just needed to spice it up a little bit. And yeah, uh, Roman gold is definitely the way to go. And I'm I'm kinda glad we didn't touch the calipers. Like the calipers really flow with the car. Um, and it's it's not overpowering anything like the wheel itself is really really what makes it um, And it, it really goes with the uh, the yellow headlights you got there. Yeah, now, I gotta say I wasn't a fan at first But now that the car is pretty much together. It really does look good. I, I like it I think one day we might tie it together a little bit better and maybe do like a satin PPF over the whole car And I think the yellow is definitely gonna look a lot better. Okay um, And as far as the brake calipers go, I think we're gonna need some more stopping power. So yeah, yeah, so what um Right now, it's just DBA rotors okay. um, and a set of Hawk uh, HPS 5.0 pads, uh, which seem to be working pretty good. Braided stainless lines and, and stuff like that. But I think uh, as the power came up, I think uh, we're just gonna need a little more, a little more grab. Gotcha. So what are you thinking, like Willwoods or? Probably stop. side skirts uh, extensions yeah yeah aeroflow side skirt extensions okay. they're uh, just regular carbon voltage straight to the side skirts gotcha and what's up with this wing back here the wing is just a, a placeholder for now I think because I've been wanting the land sport WRC wing it's okay. just it's a lot of money and it's kind of hard to stomach it yeah but, I don't blame you. Uh, for the time being, I like it. It definitely gives the car a little bit of a different look and it kind of ties together a little bit of the carving because I don't really have much in the back. Gotcha. So the the wing itself, this is the OEM wing and this is the, the extension? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's just an extension whip and uh, just kind of spices it up a little bit. Nice, that looks good, I like that. And, and then, then we did Valenti tails, so they're just full LED tail lights. They're significantly brighter. They look a lot cleaner than, than OEM and uh, I think it just ties the car together a little bit. Yeah, it does definitely looks good. Black on black is usually not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie to you, but you really pulled it off well with this car. It's not mine either, I really wanted a white car, but ended up with this one. Yeah, man, it works. So what do we got back here? I see like, um, like a diffuser and like the exhaust is definitely in an unusual spot. So we got 
got a Varus Engineering diffuser. Um, as soon as they started making it for the car, I jumped in on a Group 5 because they weren't really sure if they were going to continue making parts for, for the GR chassis because it was kind of new for them. Um, so I got it immediately, and then in my head, I always wanted a center exit exhaust. So I figured once we did the motor build, uh, it was time to do it. So I, I, I cut apart a couple of different uh, pipes and welded it together, and that's what we got now. Nice, man. Uh, I, think it, I think it ties it together pretty well. All right, Mike, thanks for joining me in here. Um, I gotta say, the interior of this car is sick. Like, the Recaro's, the renowned steering wheel, the CAE shifter, like, everything looks really good. What's the, um, what's the story behind it? How, do you, how did you come up with all these parts? What, what made you get them? things where either like I had to do it or I was just gonna forget about it right. and I, I just jumped on it it had never really been put in this chassis car before uh, okay. somebody put it into a WRX across in California and uh, the linkage is different from this to like a Hawkeye um, so I had to actually make the linkage for it and, and adapt it to actually work with the car but as far as that it bolts right into the original factory spot and it takes the throw and makes it like the shortest throw H pattern shifter that I've ever felt. Uh, it's super crisp and it's just a lot of fun to drive with it. The, the renowned um, steering wheel. What, uh, what's the story behind it? What's with the SNH and the, uh, the little... The little uh... So it's actually a limited edition uh, Speed Hunters wheel. Okay. So I originally missed out when the, the, the steering wheel was released and I really always wanted it but I just figured I missed out so it was fine so I went to order a different Renown steering wheel that ended up being out of stock and uh, one of the guys at Renown reached out and asked if there was anything else that I'd be interested in and he was like oh you know what I actually have a Speed Hunters wheel sitting around I'd be happy to sell it to you if you really want it so I, I lucked out and I got the wheel that I really wanted and it's a super comfortable wheel and it's it's cool that it's kind of a limited edition run and I think it it's not too flashy and it's super comfy. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I kind of like the depth of it. It's not too deep and it's not too uh, not too shallow. You know, it's not very flat. Yeah. But it also doesn't stick out. Yeah. So you don't have to fish for your blinkers and, and right. stuff too far. Yeah. It's like uh, it's very OEM. And then what's the uh, what's the adapter that you have? It's here? just a NRG quick release. Okay. It's uh it's kind of hard to get out of this car with the seats now. Oh. Okay. So it, it, it kind of helps being able to take the wheel off. Uh, yeah. I hear you. And then, so moving on, we have here a set of Recaros, which is kind of a little bit out of the ordinary for an SCI, I think. A lot of, I feel like a lot of uh, European cars run Recaros, so it's pretty cool to see it in a JDM car. I know it's been more and more of a movement to get them into Japanese cars, which is pretty sick. Um, so how'd you come about getting these in here? You know what it was? I, I really wanted a set of brides, um, but I, I'd sat in a couple and they were kind of uh, a little uncomfortable for me and I had sat in a Recaro pole position originally and it was probably one of the most comfortable seats that I was ever in so I, I kind of switched it up a little bit and I got the, the, the Profies. Okay. And 
super happy that I did. They're actually not for this car. I bought them originally for hopefully another project and we'll probably put something else in here eventually, but they're gonna they're gonna be a good placeholder here for now. Yeah, I mean they look they look killer in here. And then you then I see you went with the race tech harnesses. What was yeah. the story behind them? I know um you know, originally I had Sparkos because I just wanted the club sport harnesses that just have a regular buckle on them. Uh, I didn't want to be too uh, difficult about it. And uh, I just felt like you kind of had to have something else on a Recaro seat. It's kind of weird to have a, a Sparko harness slapped on top of a Recaro seat. So yeah, I agree. I think the race techs kind of look a little bit better. Right, I agree. So you're not mixing and matching. Yeah, and honestly the, the belts are pretty much the same uh, as far as like the the quality of, of both got gotcha, gotcha. day. Nice man, it looks good. And then you have a set of AEM gauges. What what are those gauges? So So we got boost, air fuel ratio and oil pressure. Uh, okay. nothing crazy, it's just stuff to keep an eye on and then and then we have the access port uh, across the dash. Gotcha. Um, but yeah we just try to keep it clean. Yeah I mean I think at the end of the day that's that's the way to go. Keep things clean, nice and simple, user friendly. I think it really works. Good job, man. All right, now moving on to the bay, the fun stuff. Um, I know you had this car ripped apart and it literally just got put back together. You just had it tuned, right? Yeah, so. Uh few months back we pulled the motor uh, I dropped it off with Ryan at uh, MRP okay. performance in Mineola and we set the block out to cylinder support we had the block uh, closed decked and everything was honed and, and then we built it just to be a, a pretty reliable ripper so we, we got uh, H-beam rods that they were the the turbo tough ones just due to COVID everything was out of stock so we kind of spiced it up and uh Which is a good thing i think yeah of course <laughs> definitely a uh, factor of safety and uh s2 as far as in the heads we did s2 cams uh we wanted s3s but the weight was going to be too long so we just kind of sacrificed there and uh so yeah is that, is that something that you're going to upgrade in the future do, do s3s possibly i think if we lift the heads <laughs> i think uh i think we'll do that and we'll, we'll upgrade to the bigger 14 millimeter head studs in the, okay. at the same time right well these are stock. Size yeah, these size. are stock. Uh, I think 11 millimeter might okay. be the size. I don't quote me on that. I, okay. I could be a little wrong. Um, but yeah, so then we just did with with the motor. We did an ETS uh, rotated kit, and we jumped up to a precision 64, 66 turbo. And uh, for now, we have the stock manifold that that KK coded for me, along with all the pipes. Uh, but I think in the winter we're going to rotate the manifold, probably do something else, uh, maybe a process quest or something like that. Uh, clean up the bay, we'll rotate it, make a new new set of intercooler pipes, and I nice. think it'll just clean it up. So basically what's going to happen is that pipe there is going to get replaced. Yeah, so this just comes off, we rotate it, and we already relocated the alternator for it, got rid of AC. So the, the pipe will come out here and go straight into the inner port from okay. there. Okay, so it'll be, it'll be much, much cleaner then. Yeah. And then we'll also get rid of the blow off valve and, and hide that in the bumper because, uh, you know, most Subaru people love showing off their blow off valves, but I'd prefer it to not be there, so we'll hide that. Again, like the, the rest of this build, it's, it's more clean and functional rather than flashy and not functional. Yeah, it's looking good. I kind of like that you went with almost everything black. Um, I know we spoke about doing the um, the turbo housing and the new manifold in the same color as the wheels, right? Yeah, so we did that. I think we're going to have to also coat the, the Cusco strut bar. I think we're going to have to do that in gloss black. Okay, uh, just to I think, clean it up. Yeah, I think it'll clean it up a little bit uh, since you guys already did the, the mounting brackets in the Roman gold. Uh, we'll just clean things up. That's what we got to do now from this point, just, just make it right. Yeah, I mean, the build is together, so now it's just back to cleaning things up, tucking things, and making it pretty.
definitely want to thank Ryan at MRP just for, for putting everything together well and, and putting the package together and, and Gippy for tuning the car. Uh, super clean power, really responsive. Uh, and honestly, I wouldn't trust anybody else with the car other than the two of them with Subarus. They know their stuff. It's, uh, it's nice to deal with people like that. That's awesome, man. I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out for you, you know. At the end of the day, it's miles per gallon, right? Hell yeah. All right, let's get into some uh, some fun stuff. We have a couple of uh, slow motion shots of all the little details, and then uh, maybe we'll get uh, a few rips in. I never hit boost in this car with Mike yet, so we'll get my reaction in there, uh, which I'm sure is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we'll set up GoPros on the car, so uh, we have some exterior footage as well, and maybe we'll do a couple rollers or drive-bys and uh, show you guys what this thing's all about. All right, we're in the car gonna let it warm up a bit and uh, get my reaction of this thing I'm a little scared not gonna lie Mike what did it make like 630 635 okay uh, and how many foot-pounds of torque 535 shit like that she's a ripper yeah. it'll be it'll be a fun ride first time give us a break <laughs> we're trying here
break it? Do we have it on video? <laughs> Out of all the events that happened today, we forgot one thing, shoot the outro. Um, so I'm here late at the office, I'm actually editing the video as we speak, uh, trying to get this ready for uh, hopefully tomorrow. I'm just uh, just about done with the, uh, the actual footage and I have to still add you know, little bits and pieces of music and stuff to make it a little more interesting. Um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, we do appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you like, consider subscribing. We, uh, we definitely appreciate it. And uh, we'll definitely catch you on the next one. Um, I don't know what's planned for the next one, but we'll figure it out. Oh, you know what? I think uh, I think Kenny's calipers are next, so uh, we'll definitely be fil filming that. And um, definitely, definitely consider subscribing and watch that caliper Evo video. Thanks. Catch you later.